would you go to his hotels? Would you play in, in his casino? Due to the fact of what has been said, no, I wouldn't be able to go to his hotels. I wouldn't be able to. I, I just can't. I can't for the simple fact that you're speaking about a culture that, that I ride, I die for. And, and that's, this culture is the only reason that I'm having this conversation right now. Hi, uh, my name is Francisco Jorge, or Frank George. I was born in Guantanamo, Cuba in 1950 and came to the United States in 1957, two years before Fidel Castro took over that island nation and completely destroyed it by instituting communism. I am uh, presently in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Trump Hotel and uh, I'll let you know that it's a fabulous place. I've really enjoyed it here. I would consider coming back again. Usually I stay at, uh, at an actual casino and this is actually a, a very high-class hotel. The uh, casino is a little bit different, you know, they have the slot machines and all that. Uh, the Trump Hotel is strictly a hotel and quite beautiful, very elegant worth every penny that I paid for it. But the circumstances that brought me here, you might find those to be rather interesting. You see, I saw an interview that was done by Jorge Ramos of Univision, the reporter, of Pitbull, whose parents happened to be Cuban, and Mr. Pitbull was born in the United States. In the interview, Jorge Ramos asks Pitbull if he would stay at the Trump hotels. And Pitbull says no because uh, he, he exists for his Latino culture and he feels that Donald Trump in saying that Mexico exports some of its worst, that some of the worst are coming over the border, that they're here to rape, that they're here to murder and other things. Well, Jorge Ramos found that to be an insult to himself, to Mexico and to all Latinos as did Mr. Pitbull, who said that he would never, ever stay at a Trump hotel and would never visit a Trump casino. Well, I'm also a Latino, older than Mr. Pitbull, more patriotic than Jorge Ramos, who holds dual citizenship, and that angers me in and of itself. Uh, so, with respect to Mr. Pitbull, who's here speaking his piece, he identifies as a Latino, not as an American. I identify first as an American, then as a Latino. What I have to do for my country, the United States of America, is to make it strong. And the, a way of making it strong is making sure that we have an opportunity for jobs for all Americans, and that cannot happen as long as you have an open border. And it is a fact that there are many illegal aliens who have come over the border and have committed acts of murder, rape, and other forms of violence, not to mention that entire towns have been wiped out as illegal aliens, mostly Mexicans, have moved into them and the American population has found itself culturally displaced. Everybody moves out. The results have not been good. And so when I hear Jorge Ramos harping on about Donald Trump, all I can think of is how I wish that Jorge Ramos would go back to Mexico since he is so very supportive of that country and its culture, but he does it from here, from within the United States of America. And what I would wish for Mr. Pitbull is for him to get his act together and to realize that men and women have died to keep this country free and that the only thing that is asked of him and Jorge Ramos and everybody else is to respect our immigration laws and to help make this country as safe as possible for everybody that lives in it, inclusive of himself. Now Jorge Ramos and Pitbull like to talk about immigrants, and they equate the illegal aliens with being immigrants, as does the mainstream media. In essence, today, an undocumented immigrant is bundled in with regular immigrants, people who applied legally to come to this country and took their time in being approved and came to this country without any negatives for the American people or a minimal amount. That is not the same as someone who hops the border at will and many of them have been here many times. It's a revolving door for illegal aliens, most of whom are Mexican. So it is the American people who should feel uh, an affront, who should feel themselves to be insulted. And we are, and I am. 
So Jorge Ramos and Pitbull, you might not like Donald Trump, but I love the fact that Donald Trump is the only candidate running for president of the United States who has brought out my American brethren, those who have been victims of illegal alien crime. Donald Trump brought them out of the shadows, starting with Mr. Jamil Shaw of Los Angeles, whose son was murdered by an illegal alien who had been in custody of the Sheriff's Department in California. The unthinkable happens every single day with respect to illegal aliens attacking, murdering, raping, and destroying American lives. So Jorge Ramos, you may never stay at Trump Tower. And Pitbull, I'm glad you don't because personally I don't like you and I don't like Jorge Ramos either. Let's get our facts straight, okay? America deserves to have a secure border. We deserve to have safety within our country. We must know who is here and anyone who is here illegally, regardless of whether they come from south of the border, north of the border, or any other place, if they're not here legally, if they're here illegally, they must be deported. Let the deportations begin, and I would personally begin with Jorge Ramos and Pitbull. Maybe then they would have an appreciation for what life in America is. Thank you for listening. The American dream is dead. But if I get elected president, I will bring it back bigger and better and stronger than ever before, and we will make America great again. Thank you. Thank you very much.